Now, complex regional pain syndrome is divided into two types. It's complex regional pain syndrome type 1 and complex regional pain syndrome type 2, where the type 2 specifically involves a nerve injury. So nerves, when they are injured, can have complicated recoveries. What's so interesting is some don't have complicated recoveries and some do. And why it is that way, we're not sure. And for those who have nerve injuries which don't recover as expected, some may develop complex regional pain syndrome in association with that as well. And that complex regional pain syndrome associated with the type 2 nerve injury is a little bit more tricky and more, yeah, can be more painful, slower to respond than complex regional pain syndrome type 1. But essentially what happens is the immune system, the autonomic nervous system, the whole body's inflammatory response to restoration and recovery, instead of following through resting and becoming less because the tissue is now restored, continues as if the tissue is still injured. 